Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 17th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather, looking at some amazing images. For the last three hours on our sun, big plasma whip there on the outgoing limb. Looking now at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we have multiple sunspots that are Earth-facing, coronal hole that has now turned away, and plasma filaments waiting to let loose. No major solar flares, strong sea flares, that's about it. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming and cresting into view, active fiery sunspot region on the left-hand side. We've seen lots of backside activity over the last few days. Looking at outgoing here, plasma filament on the right-hand side, stretching from the surface of the sun. And as well, equatorial region. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Again, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections thwarted our way. But active Earth-facing sunspot regions and some minor activity in the outgoing coronal hole region. Now, we did have some of the fast-forming sunspot regions, some of the fastest I've seen form over the last little while. Solar cycle 25 at its peak right now and well above predicted values. Solar maximum. Having a look at another light, and of course, our sunspot regions in fluid motion. A little time lapse here. The black holes on our sun, as there are multiple. An interesting sunspot region coming into view. Current space weather conditions we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts, and that is from the most recent strong C class solar flare, which was Earth facing. Solar winds are coming in at 479 kilometers per second, which is still above average. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, strong C-class solar flare, just about an M-class, and about eight C-class solar flares to go with that strong one. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity, KP2 right now, after being up to a KP4 throughout the day today, from that radio blast. Now have a look at Space Weather Prediction Center showing the most recent CME action, and that is that southward filament that I, show, I had shown two nights ago, and that will be racing underneath Earth. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, they're showing no new CMEs. But active sunspot regions turning into view. We're going to be watching tonight's aurora forecast. Likelihood is pretty good in the west. Tomorrow night, not so much. Lasco 2 showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our star. And thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Maybe set it to all because YouTube is not notifying everybody. It's all about staying aware and prepared. And now let's get to earthquakes. Largest earthquake being a 5.4 in Peru. As well, another deep earthquake, Patina, Peru. As well, Chile, Coquimbo, 4.6. So active through South America and the Cocos Plate up into the Caribbean. 4.6 there, Colombia, 155 kilometer depth, right by some active volcanoes as well. Venezuela, which we don't report earthquakes there often. 4.7 there, close to Mexico City, activity through the Caribbean. 4.8 earthquake here. It's Spain, Portugal, as well. Greece seeing active earthquakes throughout the day. Still swarming and moving northward now towards, guess what? Vesuvius. Now let's just put in the last 48 hours of earthquakes 
here are the minor earthquakes that are hitting parts of Italy. And as well, Iran with a 5.1 yesterday right on the Arabian plate. North American plate was quiet yesterday. No major or notable earthquakes except for that 2.5 in Maine. But a 4.8 here off the coast or on the coast of Portugal. Caparica. And then these notable minor earthquakes at Presidia. Italy, way too close to Vesuvius. And as well, Campi Flegri, of course. Campi Flegri, last updated July of 2024. Let's have a look at the minor seismicity and where it's occurring. Look at the site Caldera just north of the earthquakes. My, oh my, there are holes all over the place here. Campi Flegri. Volcano hasn't been updated since July 2024, but I'm sure we're going to see an update here soon with these increased earthquakes. All this seismicity and the lava blob is moving northward. Heads up, expecting something big here soon, my friends and family. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Notable deep earthquakes all through Indonesia and up into the Philippines. Look at all those 4.7s. 4.5s to 4.7s. Earth is being chimed in right now. We are rocking and rolling. Deep earthquake there today. Just recently. 550 kilometer depth. Our planet looks like a pin cushion right now. Look at all those elevated rings depicting the deep earthquakes. Here's the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Largest being now the 5.8 that struck Alaska. Actually, no, the 6.0 that hit Ethiopia would be the largest earthquake the last seven days. But notable deep activity all across the Pacific Plate, grinding up into the Indian Plate into Eurasia. Big changes happening on our planet. Now you are aware of all the earthquakes, the last 24 hours and the last seven days. Having a look now at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. SO2 forecast right here. Notable eruptions still. Kilauea, Mexico, Guatemala, Notable eruptions here, eastern regions of Papua New Guinea and New Caledonia. Big plume here in the North Atlantic. Who knows where that came from? Most likely La Palma. Now let's have a look at world weather. Brought to you by Windy.com. Big high pressure ridge moving in, but it's going to be a cold one. Extremely cold temperatures across the Canadian prairies and the west. Minus 40 with the wind chill. That's Celsius. Minus 40 degrees Celsius across Alberta and eastward as those high pressure ridges move in. Alberta clippers will follow in behind. Most of the moisture this week will be through Canada. Not until the first week, we're going to see another system come out of the Gulf. And this could be a doozy, joining forces with a Pacific low. Texas, be on watch for that one, March 3rd. And then we're overlooking Africa, Australia, and parts of Southeast Asia. Watch for interesting weather, South Africa, and as well, Madagascar, heavy rains, Multiple low-pressure systems, one on each side of Madagascar, actually. And long-range forecast shows almost cyclone conditions for both of them on each side of Madagascar. Look at that into the long range. Wow. Heads up. Everybody through Mozambique, Botswana, Zambia. And, of course, Madagascar all this week. Lingering low pressure systems and possible cyclones affecting you. Prayers for humanity across the world. And thank you so much for watching. Pressing play. 
being a part of this community in which I love so much. I'll leave you here overlooking the North Pacific as we've got a rain train heading into BC, Washington, and Oregon this week. Look at that rain right up until the 25th, 26th, when finally a high pressure ridge builds in. But more low pressure systems to come and vicious weather north of Hawaii. And that's going to crash into Alaska for the long range. Big low right here. Something strange going on with our planet, man. Thanks for watching tonight. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.